Hey, it's Matt here, and this is your Dallas-Fort Worth real estate update for June 2019. When we look back at what happened in the last month, the month of May, we saw that there were 9,407 homes sold. That's actually up quite a bit from 2018. So we had a large volume of homes sold, and the great news is more homes were sold and the sold price went up. Average sold price was just shy of $350,000. It was $348,493 sold price. Now, homes are still are selling very close to their list price. Almost every month it seems like the number is the same, it's 96%. Put simply, if you were selling a $100,000 home, it would likely sell for $96,000, 96% of the list price. Of course, a $100,000 home will probably sell over the list price, but in general, that's how that ratio works. The bottom line is homes are still selling very close to what they list for, and we also saw that homes are selling faster this past month. Uh, days on market was down almost a week to 43 days on market. That's still a little bit up from the same time last year, but definitely we're seeing the downward trend as we move into the summer selling season. Speaking of the summer selling season, inventory is very, very tight right now. There are 20,967 homes for sale. Sounds like a lot, but I'm talking to you about the entire DFW market, and that represents only 2.2 months of supply. So very, very short inventory. If nobody were to list their house now until the end of the summer, there'd be no more homes left on the market. That's basically how that measure works. Now, it does vary by a price point. When you look at the lower price points, below 250,000, those, there's only a month of inventory, and then it obviously creeps up as you go up the price point. In nearly all the price points, though, we're still seeing the numbers would support a seller's market, with the exception of luxury. If you're looking to buy a luxury home, it's definitely a buyer's market. Take advantage of that. Good news for luxury sellers, though, is that we have saw that the inventory, we, we did see that the inventory went down, and we're seeing more homes sell right now than they have over the past couple months. Downside, though, is we're seeing luxury homes come in the market at twice the rate they're selling. So my expectation is that part of our market's going to remain soft for quite some time uh, until we see that inventory normalize more. Now, what does this all mean for you? Well, if it's your buyer, I always tell buyers, be decisive. I say this nearly every month, and it's especially true now with such a tight inventory. One in five, excuse me, one in four homes are selling in five days or less. So that means if you go out this weekend and see a home for sale, and if it's a great home, there's a good probability it will not be there next week. So have yourself ready when you start shopping for a home and be prepared to make a competitive offer. I wouldn't overplay your cards either. I mean, definitely the market has softened compared to 2018, but again, it's still very much a seller's market. So keep that in mind. Now, if you're a luxury, different story. It is, like I mentioned before, a buyer's market. We have a much different conversation when we look at those homes and when we're shopping in those luxury price points. Now, what does this mean if you're a seller? Well, it's great news. It's peak season. We have a very limited inventory. If you're thinking about selling your home, it's a great time to do so. The conditions are probably in your favor for the next few months or longer. Take advantage of that. But I would caution you, don't be too greedy. Many times sellers get a little too ambitious on their price point and they list their home for too high. 45% of the homes on our market have had to have their price reduced. Those aren't the homes that are selling quickly. So recommend that you, when you, when you price your home, you price it to what you really think it's worth. That's the best approach. Again, all real estate is local. I've shared with you just to kind of give you what's going on in our broader DFW market. Uh, I'd love to talk to you personally about your neighborhood, your city. We could have a more intelligent conversation. But again, I thank you for tuning in this month, and I look forward to connecting with you in person soon. Take care.